It's the Newlywed Game. And here are today's newlyweds. Couple number one got happily hitched eight months ago, Tanya and Larry Stock. Couple number two recited their vows 20 months ago, Janie and Bruce Bromberg. Couple number three traded rings 22 months ago, Julie and Matt Dunlap. And couple number four celebrated their union 22 months ago, Nicole and Keith Caldwell. And now, uh, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubank. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. Hey, couples. Nice to have you here. You ready to play? Yeah. Well, good. Then, ladies, I want you to go off to the soundproof room because I'm going to ask the husband some questions. So off you go. All right, while the ladies are leaving, I'd like to remind our husbands I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions. As you predict, your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Remember, if her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And it's the one couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins that fabulous second honeymoon. So, gentlemen, nice to have you here, first of all. And here's your first question for five points. Tell me, which of the following commands will your wife say you think she blurts out at you way too often? Just do it, just leave it, just stop it, or just hold it? Keith. I would say definitely just stop it. Just stop it, Just Keith. stop it. I'm always doing things to be a pest. She calls me a big baby. Are you a, a big baby? Well, I don't think so, but she thinks she so. Thinks so. so. Okay. She thinks so, okay. Just Matt? stop it. Definitely just stop it. Just she stop it. She always says, I'm craving for attention. I'm always out there trying to steal the show. Well, not on this one you're not. No, I'll, I'll try to leave you alone, Bob. <laughs> you're in my schoolyard today. <laughs> Bruce. Well, I would say it's definitely just stop it also. I'm always demanding certain things and when i'm doing things i just don't so seem she to blurts stop it, it out just stop it that's what she says all right larry i have to say just stop it i'm really ornery i get in my moods and I you're just ornery stop. oh yeah and i just start picking and no just kidding okay just for no reason next question gentlemen if your wife were a mouse and you were the mouse trap what will she say is the one thing you could wear to catch her every time be specific please matt cheese you could wear cheese to yeah, catch her every be time. Yeah, cheese. <laughs> cheese with a little string. Yeah, sure. Fine, it's good. Bruce. I would say, uh, I'd say simply my underwear then. Y your underwear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Larry? I'd have to say jeans. She always says I look so good in jeans. Jeans. Right? And I never wear jeans. All right, fine. Keith? Um, I'd say those black and gray underwear. Your black and gray underwear. They're either black and gray, black and white. They're just... Well, are they black and gray or black and white? Which one? They're underwear. They're underwear. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think those are good answers, except for the cheese. Next question. <laughs> Gentlemen, how will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. I'd have no qualms about putting my wife's blank on the auction block, so it'd be going, going, gone forever. Bruce. God, I would have to say put her, her hair on the auction put block. Put her hair on the yeah. auction block, so it'd be going, going, gone yeah. forever. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're not going to like those bald headed women, though, I'm telling you. <laughs> Larry. I'd have to say her truck. Her truck? Her truck. It's okay. A beater. Keith. I'd say her shoes. She's got over 85 pairs. You're kidding me. No, I'm her, not. Her shoes on the auction block. Yes. 85 pairs. Over 85. Did you pair. buy all those? No, I just married her. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Matt. I'd say her car. Her car? Yeah, it's a convertible. The top's All right, always gentlemen, thank apart. you. We'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds. We'll see how well her husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages.
Welcome back, everybody. Gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them flat on your laps each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer. You then get five points. And as you know, the rules on this show, the couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a fabulous second honeymoon. So, ladies, we're glad you returned. We had some fun while you were gone, though. Here's your first question. Tell me, ladies, which of the following commands does your husband think you blurt out at him way too often? Just hold it, just stop it, just leave it, or just do it? Tanya? <laughs> Just stop it? Just stop it. All right. Larry predicted that you yell out, just stop it. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the matter, Tanya? <laughs> I've never heard anybody <laughs> scream at five points before. <laughs> Amazing. Janie, do you blurt out, just hold it, just stop it, just leave it, or just do it? I'd say just do it. Just do it, just big do guy. It. Okay, That's Bruce right. said you say just stop it. Oh, now uh, just stop it, Janie. What's up with that? Uh, how many times funny. you tell me to stop doing That's something? That's true. And how many times do I do things you don't want me say, to be stop doing? It you say and then stop do it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Can we do that over? <laughs> what do you think, Jewel? Just stop it. Just stop it. He said you blurt out, just stop it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Nicole, do you blurt out, just hold it, just stop it, just leave it, or just do it? Well, Keith is never doing anything that I always ask him to do, so it must be just do it. Just do it. He said, just stop it. Stop it? Yeah. Yeah? Stop what? I'm always asking you to do stuff. Could you pick your clothes up? Could you put this in the kitchen? You Could also you... tell me to stop being a big baby. Remember that? Uh, hey, Nicole, yeah. is he a big baby? Yes. I know he's big, but is he a baby? Yes, he's a big baby. <laughs> he's a baby? Yes. What, what do you do to him? I mean, what do you have to, how do you treat him then? Uh, it's a long story, Bob. Yeah, I know. I was asking her. <laughs> I mean, he is like, it like raising a child? Well, you know, he likes to be rubbed and scratched yeah. and cuddled, hey. you know, like a little baby. And all this stuff like hey, that. we're all big babies then. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, ladies. If, if you were a mouse and your husband were the mouse trap, what's the one thing he could wear to catch you every time? Be specific. Janie? Obsession cologne. Obs Definitely. I, I love wear that. obsession cologne. I love that. Oh, <laughs> I love it. He said that uh, he, what he could wear every time to catch you would be underwear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. With but, obsession cologne on the with underwear. With obsession cologne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Julie? Cheese. <laughs> cheese? He said, cheese, yeah. How'd you know that? I love cheese. <laughs> I'm a cheese freak. Um, You're a cheese freak? I am. I have cheese withdrawals. <laughs> I have to have Cheetos with me all the time. I, I have <laughs> cheese. That is really strange. I know. <laughs> Nicole, you're a mouse. He's a mouse trap. What's the one thing he can wear to catch you every time? Keith has this pair of black and gray striped underwear. What's so I different love. about them? They're just kind of sexy, and they make him look good. So oh, wait a minute. He's a big baby. I know, but, <laughs> but he can be a sexy big baby. Oh, he can be a sexy big uh -huh. baby? All right, he predicted you would say it would be his underwear. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tanya, what could he wear? Exactly what he's wearing right now. Oh, what he's, the, the outfit he's got on now? Yes, he just looks so good when he dresses up and... Oh, all right. I just think... <laughs> he does look rather spiffy, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, Larry said that what he could wear would be jeans to catch you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you're always saying, you never wear jeans. You look so good in them. Yeah, so true. <laughs> yeah, well, let's well, try another one. See if we can... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ladies, how did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. He said, I would have no qualms about putting my wife's blank on the auction block, so it would be going, going, gone forever. He'd have no qualms, Julie, about putting your blank on the auction block. My hips. Your hips? That's right. He said he would have no qualms about putting your car on the auction block. Oh. <laughs> Nicole. My shoes. Your I shoes. Have like 80 something pairs of shoes. And Keith says I have too many. So. Do you think you have too many? No. No. How many feet do you have? I have two, but you know, you gotta have one in every shade, every size, you know, to match all your outfits be coordinated. Okay. He predicted you would say, shoes, yeah. <laughs> Tanya. I think it's my clothes. Clothes. All right. Larry predicted you would say it would be your truck. <laughs> you hate driving it. I hate driving it. I've had my truck, though. What do you mean? I've had my oh. truck since I was 17. 
mean? Okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> Janie. Uh, I'm gonna take a wild shot. I'm gonna say my bunny rabbit. <laughs> Your bunny hates, rabbit on yeah, the auction block? He hates him. He's always <laughs> saying, did you give him water? Did you feed him? Did you? He What's goes, his name? Buster. Oh, and you would want to get rid of Buster? He, yeah, he does. You're married to a mean man. Yeah. <laughs> no, Keep the not. rabbit, put him on the auction block. <laughs> Bruce said it would be your hair, your hair. Oh, oh wait a minute. Well, it always takes her. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that H-A-R-E or H-A-I-R? Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. We'll be right back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. <laughs> Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. Ladies, your husbands have been secluded off stage. It's your turn now to predict what they will say. And remember, these are the big ones. These are the 10-point questions. So here's our first one. Ladies, if NASA were using your bedroom as a love station, will your husband say that lately the launches have been taking place in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, or around midnight at this love station? Julie? In the evening. The launches yeah. have been taking place in the evening. Get home okay. from work, retire. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Janie. Definitely in the evening. In the evening. Yes. Okay. Tanya. I'd say in the morning. In the morning, the launches take yes. place. Yes. <laughs> we dark. <laughs> <laughs> We're morning people. Yeah, well, good morning. <laughs> right. uh, Nicole. Keith likes to get up really early, so it would have to be the morning. 
So the, the launches at your love station have been taking place in the morning. Yeah, you know, early, early hours. Really? Yeah. Wow. Next question, ladies. What will your husband say? Is the last thing you caught him hiding from you? Janie, what did you catch him hiding from you? Probably his checkbook. His checkbook. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tanya? Um, I'd have to say the checkbook because he's Christmas shopping, so I'm not allowed to see it. Oh, checkbook. Okay, Nicole. <laughs> It would ha probably have to be a surprise gift that he had for me. He's for hiding my a birthday. surprise gift for you. Uh huh. Okay, Julie. A surprise birthday. Where we're going. You caught him. A, you caught him hiding a surprise. Right. <laughs> Slowly catching on. A surprise birthday on. gift. Is that what right. you're telling me? Okay. Next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. I'm only guessing. But if my husband's friends danced in a Chippendale type show, blank would get a ton of phone numbers. But who would just get a ton of laughs? Who's gonna get the phone numbers, Tanya? Uh, Ray's gonna get the phone numbers. Who's gonna get the laughs? Al. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing at Al already. <laughs> What's the matter with Al? <laughs> Al is a great guy, but he's just kind of frumpy. He's you know? frumpy. He doesn't go out very much. He literally gets off work and goes home and oh, goes to frumpy bed. Frumpy Al. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be dark. <laughs> Nicole. Ah. Paul. Huh? Yeah. Look at her smile. <laughs> Whoa. And who's gonna get uh, just a laugh? Mark. Mark, okay. Yeah. Julie? Steve is going to get the numbers. Steve gets the numbers. That's Who gets right. the laughs? Ron. Ron. Janie? I'd say Paul would get the numbers. Paul. And his wife's going to kill me, but Dennis would probably get the laughs. Dennis would get yeah. the laughs, okay. <laughs> probably. Okay, let, your 25 point bonus question. Ladies, will your husband say the last takeout meal that he ate was served on plastic, paper, foil, or styrofoam? Nicole? Paper. Paper. Julie? Paper. Paper, Janie. Styrofoam. Styrofoam, Tanya. Styrofoam. Styrofoam, ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the newlywed game right after these messages.
lawbreakers, risk takers, and dream makers. Is your basic profession that of an actress? Yes. Join us for our four hour event. Let's meet our next team of challengers. Show. Program. Yes. Honoring the greats who grace the game show stage. Scully Mitchell. Cap Galloway. Odetta. Ruby D. Lynn Swan. African American greats. February 26th on Buzzer. Welcome back, everybody. Gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions are now worth 10 points. Hey, gentlemen, let me ask you a question. You ready for it? Yeah. If yeah. NASA, if NASA were using your bedroom as a love station, have the launches lately been taking place around midnight, in the evening, in the afternoon, or in the morning? Bruce? The launches. Well, I'd say uh, in the evening. In the evening. Yes. Okay. She said they've been taking place in the evening. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What do you think, Matt? Midnight. Midnight. She said they've been taking place in the evening here, Matt. Yeah, we're too tired at midnight. I'm always bugging you late at night. I know, but I need to go to work. <laughs> it's usually when you break in to shut me up. <laughs> Keith, around midnight in the evening, in the afternoon, in the morning. In the morning, Bob. I'm a morning person. In the morning, person. Bob. She said uh, it would be in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a romantic devil, isn't he? Yeah, in the morning. Oh, just in the morning, I see. Well, you know, that's his moment when he's in his, you know. He's in his what? You know. <laughs> he's in the mood in the morning. Oh. Yeah. oh. Morning mood, Bob. The morning mood, yes. Larry. I'm a morning launcher. You're what, sir? <laughs> morning. Morning. Yeah. She predicted you would say, in the morning. <laughs> we go, hon. Yeah. A morning launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, what is the last thing your wife caught you hiding from her? Matt? Her birthday trip. Her birthday trip. She predicted you would say it was a surprise birthday gift. You got it, sure. <laughs> Keith. Well, that's a tough one, Bob. I'd say uh, this video card. You hid a video card from her. It's a long story, but a video card, yes. All right, fine. She said the last thing. No, is it you hid a uh, card for me, please? A, a surprise, surprise birthday surprise gift from birthday. her. You know, when we went down in Mexico, and I didn't <gasps> know, and... Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Larry? <laughs> I'd have to say her Christmas gift. I've already bought it, and I've already been hiding it from her. Her Christmas. She said you've been hiding the checkbook from her. Because it has a Christmas <laughs> gift in it. I did say that. Yeah, you did. Wrong. Wrong. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Bruce? Uh, well, if I tell you, it's not going to be hidden anymore at this point, but I'm going to say money. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it? <laughs> you, you hide money from well, her? Well, I have hid a little bit of money so that we can uh, buy a little bit of holiday gifts with it, yes. Where, where is it? Where are you well, hiding? Well, it's, it's hidden. <laughs> uh, which room is it in? It's in there. Where? It's right there. Oh, it's right there. It's there. Oh. It's probably in the monkey. Yeah. Boy, she's going to spend the whole day tomorrow just looking yeah, through the house. you got that. No, no, she said that you hid the card, the checkbook from her. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Money checkbook? Money judge? checkbook. <laughs> oh, well, let me ask the judge. <laughs> See, judge is not uh, in the holiday a mood at all, obviously. Bad judge. No, not here in July, anyway. Next question, gentlemen. How did your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. I'm only guessing, but if my husband's friends danced in a Chippendale-type show, blank would get a ton of phone numbers. But who would just get a ton of laughs? Keith, which one of your friends would get a ton of phone numbers in this Chippendale show? My friend Paul. Paul, who would get the laughs? <sighs> I'd say my friend... Jeremy. Jerry. All right. She said, uh, card for me, please, there, no, Nicole. Not yeah, Paul, get home. Mark is going to get the laughs. Oh. Yeah. Well, when she, I'll tell you, when she said Paul, she did light up. <laughs> she did. Oh. <laughs> the girl He's lit up. He's really nice. Pardon me? He's really nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's my best friend. Yeah, hers, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Larry, who's going to get a ton of phone calls here? Uh, a phone number. I'd say Ray would get a ton of phone calls. And who's going to get the laughs? Al would get the laughs. Al. Ray and Al. Yep, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bruce, 
Well, I would say uh, my friend Scott would get the phone calls. Yeah, and who's going to get all the laughs? And my other friend Paul would get the laughs. Paul, all right. Oh, no. You see, it's well, in the eyes kidding. of the beholder, big guy. <laughs> now, Jenny said that, no, she said Paul is going to get the phone numbers. Paul is, is, it's good. She's said. good. Yeah. <laughs> but Dennis is going to get the laughs, and his wife's going to be real mad yeah, about that. Yeah, she's going to be real mad about that. <laughs> Matt. Definitely my friend Steve would get the phone numbers. Steve, and who's going to get all the laughs? I'm going to say Ron. Ron. She predicted you would say it would be Steve and Ron. You got it. Okay, before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Take a look. You're going to Jamaica. You'll enjoy a week at Couples, the all-inclusive romantic Caribbean resort. Deluxe accommodations, award-winning cuisine, and unlimited premium wines and liquors. Plus exciting land and water sports and island excursions. Have a wonderful time at Couples Resort in Jamaica. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Mon. Okay, 25-point bonus question for 25 points. Gentlemen, was the last takeout meal you ate served on styrofoam, paper, foil, or plastic? Let's go first to couple number two. Bruce and Janie with 10, 25 would give you 35. Bruce, take over the lead with the right answer. Uh, well, I'm going to say styrofoam. Styrofoam. She said you would say styrofoam. Sure. Couple number four, Keith and Nicole Caldwell. You have 20, 25 gives you 45. What do you think, Keith? I'd say styrofoam. Styrofoam. She said it was served on paper. <sighs> couple number one, Larry and Tanya stock with 25. 25 gives you 50. First place if you get it right. I'd say paper. Paper. She said it was served on... <laughs> Styrofoam. You got timing? You didn't. No, but you did. They you didn't. If you, you. I thought it was what we ate. No, you. Okay. The question no. was you. Oh, Larry, oh, man. Larry, it was you. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh. Sorry. Oh, man. There, there goes Jamaica. Pooey. Just like that. <laughs> Couple number three. Matt and Julie with 30, 25 will give you 55. Matt, if you get it right, you go to Jamaica. It's gotta be paper. Paper. She says has to be paper. <laughs> Matt and Julie Dunlop, you're our Newlywed Game Grand Prize winners. Thanks to our couples and thanks to you. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. to her husband about how many men she's made love to. Which one is it? Well, her husband is about to find out, and so are you, because it's time to play the newlywed game. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Gary Kroger, and welcome to the newlywed game. Today, we're going to meet three couples, and we'll discover how well they know each other. The game is simple. I ask them questions about 